Hey everybody and welcome to the start of the first weekly reading vlog of 2020. It is not the first reading vlog of the year because I have done a 24 hour reading vlog uh, to start off, you know, to sort of kickstart my reading year. But today it's the start of the first weekly reading vlog. They are back, so yay. I had an amazing Christmas and a really nice new year and just a really nice Christmas break. I hope you all did as well, even though when you're seeing this video... Um, it's probably already a while since Christmas, but you know, I still hope you had a nice time. And I am back with the weekly reading vlogs. I really hope you're going to enjoy them uh, again in 2020. This week I actually have a fun week planned. I have some fun things that I'm going to do. It's my sister's birthday as well later this week, but it's also the first week... Uh, that I'm sort of like back at work with school. So that's also something that needs to happen. And I'm feeling refreshed and full of energy and ready to sort of take on uh, this new week and this new year. So yeah, I'm in a good mood and that's really nice. Of course, with a reading vlog, I will have to tell you what I'm currently reading. And uh, I'm very excited about all the books that I'm currently reading because I'm in such a great reading mood. The first book is Misery by Stephen King. I started this during that 24 hour readathon that I did. I'm now at page 232. So I only have around 120 pages left. Uh, I would like to finish it today, but I think that might be a bit too ambitious. In any case, I want to finish it either today or tomorrow. I don't think it would be too long. Um, but overall, as Misery is about an author named Paul Sheldon. He gets in a car accident and then he gets saved by um, this woman who doesn't take him to the hospital, but instead kidnaps him and takes him to her own home. Because Paul Sheldon is the author of the Misery novels and this woman is his number one fan. And she does not agree with the fact that Paul in his latest Misery novel has killed her off. The main character, Misery. Uh, she's very much not agreeing with that. So yeah, that gives uh, some very creepy situations. So it's about kidnapping and um, yeah, it is very, very creepy. And it's also my very first Stephen King book that I've read or that I'm currently reading uh, in any case. I am enjoying it very much so far. I love the writing style. It's definitely a bit unique. It's sort of a bit slower at times. Um, also, this book was written in like the 1980s i didn't know that so it's a bit older but you don't really notice that but this book is very very um creepy because the story overall is quite simple it's like a author being kidnapped he wants to get out that's sort of the the main premise but overall um where a lot of the time we spend in the author's head which is so interesting and also, it's a lot about writing in general. And I've never had any ambition to write a book. But whilst I'm reading this, I feel suddenly so motivated to write a book. Because the way this book talks about writing is just so inspiring somehow. But also, it is creepy and there's a kidnapping going on. So... Yeah, I cannot wait to finish it and see what I'm going to think of it in the end. And as always, I'm also listening to an audiobook. And I'm actually listening to The Night Circus by uh, Aaron Morgenstern. I'm finally, finally rereading this. I want to reread this before I start The Starless Sea by Aaron Morgenstern. Uh, it has been more than three years since I've read The Night Circus. So I felt like I was in desperate need of a reread. And I'm already at page uh, 166. So I'm going through the audiobook quite nicely. I love it. It's narrated by Jim Dale, who also does the American versions of Harry Potter. I've never listened to those because I'm more like a Stephen Fry kind of girl when it comes to Harry Potter audiobooks. But he does the Night Circus very well. I love his voices and like the way he narrates it. And this story so far is still so beautiful and so gorgeous. And of course, I had forgotten a lot about it. Like I remembered the main storyline, but so many details and side characters I had sort of forgotten. So I'm uh, listening to the audiobook right now and yeah, very much enjoying it as well. So my reading overall is going pretty great. Uh, nothing to complain about that. Today I've actually filmed like a very big video, a Harry Potter video. It's an updated Harry Potter collection video. I don't know if it's already going to be online when this reading vlog comes online, but... It won't be too long in any case. It was quite uh, a piece of work to film that. But I'm very happy uh, with how everything looks so far. So I'm going to edit that the rest of the afternoon. And I also should do some school stuff as well. So that's the planning for the rest of my day. And yeah, overall, um, that's pretty much it for now. <laughs>
yesterday I went to the university library uh, to work on school a bit. Uh, I filmed some bits uh, of that day, so uh, I hope you enjoyed those. Also, um, I went to the bookstore again. Um, I often go to the bookstore that is not too far from my university. Um, it's just nice to go there and watch all the books. And um, yeah, I did buy one book. <laughs> it is one that I've had my eyes on for a while now. And I finally purchased 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 it and that is uh my sister the serial killer by oh god oyen Khan brett wait uh i really hope i did that right probably not but yeah this is a story about a woman and her older more perfect sister um has the tendency to kill her boyfriends and the main character helps her dispose of the bodies and clean everything up um, and I don't know what happens else. I believe that her sister gets an eye on someone that she likes. So that is kind of dangerous. That's all I know about it. But I do love the premise of, you know, casually having a sister who is a serial killer. It reminds me a bit of My Sister Rosa by Justine Larbalastje, which is like one of my all-time favorite books that I haven't talked about in a while. Whoa, I really should reread that one. But that one is also about a creepy sister. And yeah, I really should reread it. Um, but anyway, the premise really reminded me of that, even though it's not the same, but yeah. Um, I just love stories about creepy sisters, apparently. So I'm very excited to read this one very soon. I was actually debating on reading it just straight away, but I'm not completely sure. I think I might leave it for a little while. Um, but I also have a reading update because I actually finished Misery by Stephen King yesterday evening. So I finished it and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. I thought it was such an interesting at the edge of your seat kind of book it is sort of an interesting writing style i believe i mentioned that before in this vlog or in another reading vlog um, but it is sort of slow at times and you're really a lot in the head of the main character paul the writer but it does work and it's so full of tension with his situation and everything and um yeah i was just like on the edge of my seat the entire time and I wanted to know what was going to happen next. I gave it four stars instead of five stars because sometimes it was a bit slow and um, yeah maybe it's just it was really good but not like a five star read. It wasn't completely up there but it was still very very good and I'm definitely interested in reading more Stephen King in the future. But this book was quite horrific and gruesome and creepy and everything that I had expected it to be and it did all those things really well. So I'm impressed with that. Definitely going to read some more Stephen King in the future. Don't know which ones yet. I have a couple that I have on my TBR or like my wish list. But yeah, I was very pleased with this one. I am also still reading uh, The Night Circus with listening to the audiobook. I am at page, let me see, 295, almost page 300. Um, so that one is going uh, quite nicely as well. I think I might finish it this week probably. I love the audiobook again so much. Um, it's just so magical and whimsical. And I had forgotten how much I love this story. And um, yeah, it's just really beautiful. And I don't really know what else to say. It's the most beautiful writing style ever. And so atmospheric. And basically everything that I loved about it, I still love about it. My opinion of it hasn't really changed. Even with this reread so far. And yeah, very happy with that because The Night Circus is... So beautiful and still one of my all-time favorite books. And yeah, I can definitely recommend the audiobook. I'm really enjoying it. Then for my next book, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm like 90% sure it's going to be The Mime Order by Samantha Shannon. Uh, the second book in the Bone Season series. It's been almost two months now or like something around that that I finished the Bone Season. So I really don't want to wait any longer with continuing with the series. And from what I've heard, the Mime Order is amazing and even better than the first one. So I'm very excited to read this story and see what I'm going to think of it. So yeah, I think I'm going to make a start with this one um, maybe later in the afternoon. Yeah, I think this is going to be my next read. Um, I am sort of intimidated by it because it feels so big, but I know that with the bone season I also went through it way quicker than I thought I would. So yeah, I should just start it and give it a chance and see what I'm going to think of it. So that is it for all my reading updates right now. Yeah, I just, my book shopping, <laughs> books that I finished, books that I want to start, uh, books that I'm currently reading. So yeah, I think we're all caught up right now with my reading. <laughs> then the rest of the day I'm going to work on school. I have to edit some videos. Tomorrow I'm actually going uh, to visit Brit. We're going to hang out. My friend Brit from basically Brit. Uh, so that's going to be fun. Then this Friday we're going out to dinner for my sister's birthday. Her birthday is actually on Saturday but uh, she's probably 
very busy then so uh, we're going out to dinner with the family on friday night so very much looking forward to that and then this sunday i can't remember if i mentioned it before but i'm going to watch the last two harry potter films deadly hollows part one and two with a friend who has never seen them so that's going to be fun so overall it's a very fun first you know work week of 2020 i'm going to get back to all the things that I have to do and probably some reading and then i will talk to you again soon hey it is now friday and i have a couple of very exciting things to show you so first of all yesterday as i mentioned before i went over to brit's house just to chat and hang out and yeah we had a really good time and it's always nice to catch up but i also got some new items from uh, brit's web shop uh, etsy shop because if you don't know she has an etsy shop where she designs uh, lots of bookmarks stickers and other beautiful things and she gave me some of her latest items which is so nice of her so thank you Brit. first of all she gave me this bookmark um this was the only one of her like her collection that i didn't have yet and this one is very pretty and it's very fitting for spring even though we're not in spring yet and it says it's a good day to have a good day so it's always nice to have some of her beautiful bookmarks and now i have finally i have all of them then i also got some of her latest stickers these ones are for reading journals who and they have all sorts of like designs of like different stars and ratings and tags for reading journals so that's very useful if you have a journal like that i really want to get into that and then also i have this one that is valentine's day themed because of course that's really not that far away just one month at this point so very pretty with all these hearts and pink illustrations then next up i have one with some inspirational quotes uh, some different quotes also very beautiful and very nice to put in a journal and then lastly and this is i think my favorite is this uh film sticker uh sheet so this one has all sorts of film illustration stickers uh so pretty and i really love these they're so gorgeous and yeah it really makes me excited to watch more movies basically then i also got this print of the night circus uh brit has this one for me and this one was sent by daniel i don't have like his uh, social media or anything but this one was sent to me to brit's p.o box because i don't have a p.o box so he sent it to her because he knows we're friends and yeah it is so pretty like look how beautiful it is um this is a print of the night circus and it's so fitting of course because i'm reading that one right now or actually i finished it but i will talk about that later um and it says to michelle with best wishes from daniel so thank you so much i really hope you're seeing this but it's so pretty i'm very happy with it but then now uh something i'm very excited about i have such an exciting unboxing and i cannot wait to open these packages uh, and show you what's inside because yes <laughs> i've been wanting these books for so long now and i finally bought them so i got these two packages from amazon with yeah as i said books inside it but these are very exciting books and i can't wait to open it and show you guys because oh it's i know these are going to be so beautiful so let's open this one first and oh i cannot wait to see it oh it's going to be so amazing ah okay i'm not looking yet Okay, I'm looking. Oh my god, they're so beautiful. I got the special 10th anniversary editions of the Hunger Games series by Suzanne Collins. And they are so gorgeous. So here I have Catching Fire and Mockingjay. So the Hunger Games will be in the other one. But let me just appreciate these editions. Wow, so pretty. Oh my god. Oh, these are gorgeous. Oh, I'm so excited with these. They are so pretty. You don't really have that many pretty editions of the hunger games um but yeah these ones are just gorgeous and i'm so excited i finally got them um, i do have like sort of like the basic black editions over here but i wanted prettier ones i know i didn't need them but i got them anyway so then this one will probably contain or i know it will contain the hunger games and also another book um, that i also ordered so let's open the second package yes here we have the hunger games the first book so pretty. Oh, I really should show them in more detail. Look how gorgeous these covers are. They are... Oh, I'm in love with these beautiful editions. Um, yeah, I only have one edition or like one set of the Hunger Games. So with my addiction to buying multiple editions of all the books that I love, it's really not that bad. So I finally got new ones and these ones. Oh, so pretty, so pretty. Look at it. So gorgeous. And all three of them together. Oh, look how pretty oh, i'm in love in case you can't tell already <laughs> and then the final book that also was in like that package is the radium girls by kate moore uh, i got this recommendation from 
Ashley from a frolic through fiction. It was like on her favorite books of 2019 list. And this is nonfiction and it's about the women in America who worked in like the radium factories during World War I. And then after that they got very sick from that. And it's about like the lawsuit all about that. And I got this book because I wanted to read more nonfiction in 2020. That's like one of my reading goals. And this one sounds perfect. It's a historical story. Um, it's about women. It uh, is apparently written in a very engaging writing style. So this is perfect for like my um, attempt to read more nonfiction. I'm very interested in this story and I cannot wait to start it. It sounds very, very interesting. And that was it for right now. Um, I will give you a reading update tomorrow because I don't really feel like doing it right now. Um, I also don't have much to tell. So I will see you again soon. It's been a couple of days since I last filmed an update. Um, it is now Monday again. As I mentioned before, yesterday I was supposed to watch like the Harry Potter movies with a friend. Um, but she unexpectedly got very busy with work. So she didn't have the time for that. But instead we went for lunch. And we have like rearranged uh, to watch those movies another time. And uh, also I went to the bookshop in Rotterdam. So yeah, that was uh, my second trip to a bookshop this week. I've done a lot of book shopping this week. I feel like this vlog is now basically a book haul or something because I'm just showing you all the books that I'm buying. Because yes, uh, I bought another book at the bookstore and it is The Shining by Stephen King because uh, of course earlier this week I finished Misery by Stephen King and I wanted to read more by him. And The Shining has been recommended to me a lot since then. Uh, like one of, it's supposed to be one of Stephen King's best books. And I do know the story of The Shining a bit, like the general story because of the movie. Um, I've seen, you know, some summaries of the movie, some bits. There are some shots, of course, of The Shining uh, movie that are very famous. So I feel like a lot of people sort of know uh, 
some things that happen in the story. But I've also heard that the book is very different than the movie. Or at least like the movie was very different from the book. So I still think it's going to be a whole new experience. And yeah, this is like true horror and uh, terror. So that's even one step further than Misery. Which is uh, creepy but still within the realm of possibilities. And this one is more supernatural. So very excited to read this one as well. Uh, don't know if I'm going to read it soon. But I cannot wait to see what I'm going to think of this one. Uh, yeah, it sounds very promising. And then since we're already at it. Um, I also received another book in the mail today. And it's the... Uh, Book of the Unnamed Midwife by Meg Ellison. This is, I believe, a dystopian novel uh, in a world where it's very dangerous for women. And then there's this unnamed midwife uh, who helps them. Uh, and that's all I know about it. It's supposed to be very... Um, I don't know, very interesting and I really was intrigued by the premise. Um, so yeah, another book, not that I really needed one, but yeah, I ordered this one as well. Um, yeah, I promised that was it for like the new books of this video because there were already a lot. <laughs> Yeah, I it, I don't know what it is, but with like the beginning of the year, I always get in this book buying habit because I'm so motivated to read more. And um, yeah, I just want to buy all the books. Speaking about reading, uh, actually already a couple of days ago, I finished The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. And I think you can probably guess what I thought of it. It was just beautiful, magical, wonderful. Everything uh, that I loved about it was still there. And I gave it five out of five stars. Really loved the audiobook as well. It was just very relaxing and it was so nice. It felt like coming home to one of my favorite stories. And uh, this will definitely not be the last time I read this book. And then uh, for my other book, uh, The Mime Order, I've actually read only 60 pages of it so far. I have a little bit of trouble getting through it. Uh, I think I might not be in the exact right reading mood for this one. Uh, at the moment. I do still enjoy the story but I think I might need to put it aside for a little while uh, until I'm in the better mood for this specific book because it's so good so I don't want to read it when I'm not 100% feeling it. And yeah apart from that I haven't actually read all that much over the past couple of days. Um, yeah I'm talking about being so motivated to read more but uh, over the weekend I just haven't read a lot which is fine you know you don't have to read a lot all the time and I'm definitely feeling uh, the reading bug kicking in again at the moment so i'm sure my next reading vlog will be full of new books that i'm reading and everything um yeah and i think that is pretty much it for this reading vlog by the way that harry potter collection video that i mentioned earlier uh, is online now uh, so you can always watch that if you're bored in the meantime until my next reading vlog um i'm very proud with how it turned out uh, i very much like the look of it and uh, yeah, I hope you will like it as well. But this was it now for this video. And if you like this video, please go subscribe or maybe give it a thumbs up. Because as always, I would really appreciate that. And hopefully I will see you again very soon in my next video. Bye!